Hey guys, welcome back. South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thank you guys for stopping by. We've got another beer review, and this is going to be from 18th Street Brewery. This is going to be their Sex and Candy IPA. This is a, I believe, 7.5 percenter. Where is it at? Surely it's on here somewhere. I don't see it. Um, kind of a weird thing, but uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, untapped. I have it on the screen. My bad. Seven and a half percent. It says this: ent the enticing smell of Chinook and Cascade hops walk forth from this IPA, benefiting both you and your special friend. Fruity and sweet, or faintly sweet, sex and candy is simply a dream. So yeah, it's got on the can. There's like candy. There's like fuzzy handcuffs, uh, looks like a whip of some kind, the rose. Anyway, so I don't know what this, uh, I guess this is just a regular American IPA. I'm surprised it doesn't say the ABV on the can, I swear it did. Uh, there are, uh, 18th Street is out of Hammond, Indiana. Man, I, th I could have sworn, okay, whatever, I'm done looking for it, there's no point. Um, I've had a couple beers from 18th Street, and they've been pretty solid. So uh, we'll see what this one has in store. I don't really know what to expect, but, um, you know, it's fun going into a beer that you don't know what you're getting into. Uh, let's see here. So this one is uh, definitely filtered. Uh, it comes in a deep gold color. It looks almost amber on camera, but it's not quite uh, that dark actually um, and it is clear surprise surprise we got a clear beer on our hands clear beer alert clear beer alert clear beer alert okay so uh, it's kind of a finger of a head there uh, pretty white colored head um, compact around the edges rocky up top seems to be a familiar trend in our beers um, looks like we might get some lacing on there anyway let's smell it Okay, uh, definitely um, a little different than the beers we've been doing. This one smells more West Coast. Um, you get a bready malt, but you get a caramel sweetness as well. And maybe they use maybe like a, a light caramel malt, because um, it's not like, it doesn't look super dark, um, like some of the caramel malts will do, but it definitely has a caramel-like aroma to it. Almost like a candied uh, grapefruit, maybe. Candied citrus, maybe that's a better term. I'm getting like a toasted note as well. Like, uh, maybe like a toasted bread of some kind. A little bit of like a juicy pineapple undertone there. It's not very, uh, you know, on the forefront, but it, it's there. And they're using um, Chinook and Cascade, so some old school hops in this one. Maybe a little bit of a grassiness there. Um, anyway, yeah, smells fine. Smells good. Let's taste it. Cheers. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Definitely a change of pace, uh, I'll say that up front. Um, again, you're hit with that like bit of caramel malt. Um, I don't think they've talked about the malts in there, but there has to be caramel malt in there. Um, yeah, you get a little dose of that caramel malt uh, sweetness there, uh, and then you get a little bit of that hop aroma, a little bit of a citrusiness, uh, a little bit of pineapple. Again, I feel like that caramel malt plays with the hops a little bit, almost like a candied citrus, um, similar to, like I said, on the nose. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I would say it's, I would say if it, like in, in terms of balance, as far as maltiness and hoppiness goes, uh, I would say hoppiness, I would say maltiness. So I would say, you know, 
60-40 maltiness to hops. Um, but it's nice. The hop character is nice in there. Um, it is definitely more West Coast. Yeah, even like a... I feel there's even like a toffee note in there. Um, maybe that's what I was kind of thinking when I said um, toasted bread. I, I don't know. It's just like a... Almost like, yeah, like a toffee type thing, I guess is the best way to put it. I don't know. Uh, toffee and, you know, toasted bread are not quite the same thing, but, uh, you know. Nice hot flavor, though. So, I said it's like West Coast, which it kind of is. Um, probably medium bitterness, not not too much there. Uh, it's not like smacking in the face bitterness, but... Um, yeah, the, the hop flavor is is nice. Uh, you know, it's got a juiciness to it, uh, but the malt is more West Coast, uh, more on the malty side. So, I don't know, maybe some people would call this a mix between East and West Coast, possibly. Yeah, drinks about like 7.5% 7, 7 like it is. Um, you know, it's definitely not thin on the mouthfeel. Um, probably medium, medium mouthfeel. Um, you got a little bit of a sweetness that kind of hangs out on the back end as well. Um, a lot of your West Coast beers are, are really dry. Um, I don't think this is quite 100% West Coast. But, nice taste of beer. I'm happy with it. I think you should try it if you see it out. Let me know what you think about it. Um, yeah, guys, I guess that kind of covers everything. Um, it's a more, it's a little bit malty side, a little bit on the malty side, but it's got a nice juicy hop aroma to it and hop flavor to it. Um, citrusy, a little bit of pineapple, a um, little bit of bitterness in there, a little bit of sweetness in there. A little bit of caramel malt, um, it, it, caramel malt sweetness um, plays nice with the hops. So um, that's my take on this beer, guys. Um, let me know if you've had it and what you think about it. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one. But until then, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.